Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is my SQL Shorts. In this episode, we will talk about how we can return dates as a formatted string using the date format function, and how we can convert a string that contains date information into a date using the string to date function. The date format function accepts two arguments. The first is the date we want to format, and the second is the format string. The format string contains specifiers that indicate the date or time part we want to output and in what format. For example, there's a specifier to output the year as two digits and a specifier to output the year as four digits. Specifiers are preceded by a percent sign in the format string and any other characters such as hyphens, slashes, spaces, etc., are output as they are in the format string. In our query, we're using three different format strings. The first outputs the date in a format more common in the United States and outputs the time in hour minute format with AM or PM. The second outputs the date in a format more common in Europe and uses a 24 hour clock for the time. And the last outputs the string today is with the full day name, full month name and ordinal day of the month. When we look at the results, we can see how these different format strings produced different output. There is a link below to the MySQL documentation for date format, including a list of all specifiers that are available. The string to date function also accepts two arguments. Yes, I know it's str, but my brain reads it as the word string. The first argument is the string that contains the date and time information. And the second argument is the format string, like what we just used with date format. But this format string tells MySQL how to parse the string into a date rather than how to output the date as a string. You can think of string to date as the inverse of date format. In the first example, we have a string in the format of four digit year, asterisk, two digit day, asterisk, and one digit month. Our format string matches this format. In the second example, our first argument is just a string of numbers that represents the date and time, all of them in two digit format, with no other spaces or characters. And the second is the format string that matches this format. The last example shows how we can parse the string today is Thursday, September 7th, 2023, into a date by using the same format string we used in our last example of date format. When we run this query, we see that MySQL parsed all of these strings into the correct dates and times. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.